Surprise guys, it is me Drew and I am back with brown hair. I dyed my hair back brown um, for the time being because my platinum hair was just so damaged. I just couldn't anymore, you guys. Like, it was just so damaged. It was, like, crisping off. It always just looks damaged. This is my new look, which is typically my old look, but um, I'm really excited about it, and today's video is so fun, you guys, because it's going to be my apartment tour, and I have not shared with you guys a full apartment tour since I moved into my apartment about six months ago, so this is going to be a full, in-depth apartment tour of my room, my roommate's room, the living room, the dining room, the kitchen, everything. So you're going to see my full-on apartment tour. If you are curious, I do live in the LA area just in case you are um so you guys can kind of see what a typical like two-bedroom apartment in the LA area tends to look like we did scout this one out and it was a really great find it's in the perfect area like the best area ever and I'm also so excited because today's video is sponsored by Squarespace and I want to thank them so much for sponsoring today's video so I will get to that in just a little bit but let's go check out my apartment first and I'm going to share with you guys everything and then also I did want to mention that anything shared in the apartment I'm going to try to link everything below in case you are curious and anything that I do own it's linked in the description box below and yeah, let's jump into it So when you walk in this is actually the view that you get and I absolutely love it um, I think it just reminds me of home of course because it freaking is my home every time I walk in but guys to the right here Don't even look at this. This is my Christmas tree and box of ornaments and stuff I have to bring it back to my parents house because there's no storage here So it's just sitting here for the time being but typically this would not be here and then to the right here This apartment has so many built-ins, which is so nice So like right over here all we have is just like cleaning supplies So there's just all the sort of cleaning supplies paper towels towels, napkins, all that sort of fun stuff, and then just random things down in that area as well. And then to the opposite side of the door, there is a hall closet, which me and my roommate actually keep a lot of our Poshmark items in because she um, works for someone that sells Poshmark pieces, so she has like her Poshmark stuff in there. And we have extra decorative accessories up here that I use for my decorations. And then right here, another area that's kind of an eyesore because um, my roommate just kind of read a little bit of her room, and these items are all being sold the same person tonight so they're coming to pick it up but I didn't want to move it so this typically wouldn't be here as well and right here is the table my table is from world market and the chairs are actually from a friend she gave them to me she was moving out of the building and um, she was like do you want these chairs and I was like yeah for sure so they're like metal I think she said she got them on overstock but I'm sure I can find a very similar one for you guys I tend to work on the table because I just like the way that working on a table feels as composed to like a couch or something and the living room looks like this I think it's so pretty and very minimal um, and it's just like very fresh but like warm and cozy at the same time there is this tiny little bar area here which is so cute and we have like some candy jars and then just like some actual alcohol that we literally don't drink because we never drink really but it is there in case people come over and want some and there's like a mirror there which is also nice when you just want to check yourself before heading out the door and a couple of, again, built-in cabinets underneath. And then to the left is the couch, and this couch is from Overstock. Again, I'll try to link it below. And my art prints here are from Society6, and then the little swingy arm lamp there is from CB2. And then a lot of the cushions on this couch, this one's from West Elm, the colorful ones, Urban Outfitters. Uh, those are, this is Target, Home Goods, so just random places. And there's this little basket of blankets, which typically this looks a lot nicer, but I was just using the blankets, and they kind of go in this basket area but I've had this basket system for literally like five or six years um, since I was in high school and it's from Urban Outfitters and the tree back here is from World Market it's just a faux tree and I think it's really nice I love that and then my molecule back there which just freshens all the air and then right here is the uh, Papa Sun chair which is again from World Market I get so many questions on this chair it's from World Market I think you actually have to buy this in store um, but if not then I will link it of course for you guys and then the rug here is the Kolka rug from West Elm and I know that they still have this item I used to work at West Elm so I do have quite a few pieces from them I love it because it has little bits of copper and you guys have had this rug for probably three years and it still looks amazing like it's not even dirty at all and we do walk on it in shoes and stuff it's just very geometric and nice and then the coffee table is from World Market and then right over here we do have a fireplace in our apartment which is really nice you just like flick this switch right here and it turns on the fireplace and it actually produces heat which is nice because it's winter time in LA right now it's been getting pretty cold then up here just a couple of decorative accessories the print is again from society six uh, this little leather poof is from CB2 this mirror is from Ikea and then the under the uh, TV like media console area this is from world market 
and um, then just some random little things up here just like decorative accessories which I won't get too much into but they are very nice um, and it just kind of spices up the area a little bit and then instead of hanging the frames we actually just set them there kind of to create like this cascading effect I just think it looks really nice when you're sitting on the couch and this is like what you see I actually put two consoles together so this is one unit here and this is another unit here but I wanted to fill the space and then moving over to this side this is the kitchen so the kitchen is just very very simple it's very black and white and metal so um, yeah just your basic kitchen it has like stainless steel appliances uh, the refrigerator oven microwave and then tons of cabinet space there really is a lot of space uh, to store things in and all the way under here too so there's just a lot of space in here which is quite nice they really went all out with the little um, built-ins for sure because as you can see going around the corner from the kitchen there is another built-in which I actually let my roommate kind of store all of her things in this because I do have a whole one of these in my room as well so this one kind of acts as hers a room is to the left here which I'll show you in a second but straight ahead is my roommate's bathroom and I'll give you like the super quickest overview of her bathroom I'm not gonna go into her stuff that much but she did give me um, permission to share it with you guys because a lot of you actually know her so I just thought I would show it and then her actual bedroom is literally the cutest ever look at this guys we did an extreme room transformation on her bedroom if you're curious like we did the entire room in the video so if you want to watch how we did that definitely go ahead and I'll put it on the screen up here in the description box below but there have been some changes it's because we made that video probably like five months ago so she got new nightstands which are so good they're like these little mirrored nightstands and then of course she just has her own stuff her lamp her like personal items bedding and I know her bedding is from Target the nightstand is from Urban Outfitters I think I believe I'll try to find the similar one if you are curious and then just a couple little shelves and then this bench here is from CB2 it's actually from my old bedroom but I put it in here because I thought that it just looked nice under the window and then she has this little bookcase here which has just some random figurines on it right over here she just got this new dresser this Ikea dresser because she needed some more storage and on top of it is this vintage mirror that my grandpa actually got me so it's like kind of an heirloom it's actually been in my family for a long time but I thought it looked so pretty in here and that's really her room I love her room because it's full of mirrors so there's just tons of reflecting light in here so there's lots that you can see I guess I don't really know what else to say I like that she doesn't keep a lot of clutter because just wait you're gonna see my room in 10 seconds and then you're gonna be like <gasps> Um, you should probably live more like Marie. So now we're walking into my room, which looks kind of like this when you walk in. I actually have a pretty, like, large room. My bed is a full, to give you guys, like, an idea, because I wanted as much space as possible. So I do have a full-size bed. And then this is sort of, like, a quick little mini overview of the room. But we're just going to start off over on this left side here. And right over in this area, this is where I have, like, a lot of my random junk, which I know is probably not the best to have right by the door, but it's really the only space I have for it and by random junk I mean a basket here this is from CB2 and then I just have decorative pillows in there and my curtains that actually like I need someone to help me hang them because the drywall is just really weird and I ripped it out of this, the wall basically we love that a little ostrich my mom gets me these literally every single year so I have multiple ostriches around my room and this is like just some random camera equipment here that I use for filming and then I just have my diploma up there which is just nice and lovely and then right up here I actually have a DIY project that I created on my channel moving over here is just my little desk space and if you're curious my desk and the desk chair are both from world market I absolutely love them and then my computer it's just a iMac and then I have a salt lamp which I absolutely love salt lamps I think everyone should have one in their house they really create a nice ambiance and mood and so I just always had my salt lamp on in my room and then up here I have two prints from Society6 that are framed. Uh, this one's a really cool one you guys have probably seen on my channel prior. And then I have this DIY which I recently created. It's that little light bulb DIY which is so cool. I absolutely love that so I'm leaving that there. I just like the visual interest and then some random other things over on the desk there. I have my nightstand which is just a metal Ikea nightstand and I like the shape. I think it adds like a really cool geometric vibe. And then over here on top of it I just have some random stuff. A print my friend Hannah made me. An Ikea plant. Little DIY box. Um, this is a, a case from a bracelet that I bought a cologne here my little diffuser and then I have some CPD oil because I have a lot of anxiety which I don't really talk about that much but I do and so I find that that helps me on occasion so I like to use that 
And then right over here, I do have my clothing rack. And this clothing rack serves as a new in clothing rack. So anything on a black hanger is like brand new and things that I want to style more of. And then anything on the white hanger is things that I'm putting in a video. So filming a video either later today or tomorrow using these white hanger pieces. I'm just storing those pieces there while I uh, come up with the concept for the video. And then I have a lot of my bags on the end there. And then some new shoes down here that go all the way across. And my bed here is from Urban Outfitters. Well, I guess the bed frame is. And the bed frame looks like this. It's like a wooden um, box bed frame, but you can't really see it because, of course, I have all my bedding on top of it. But I really like it. It's just a platform, so it just kind of elevates the bed. My bedding here is all from Parachute. It was quite an investment, but I absolutely love it. I love linen bedding, and I do have linen bedding, um, both my sheets and like the uh, piece down here and my pillows as well. And I do have like a jersey pillow that I tend to sleep on back there. And then a couple of decorative ones. I believe those are all, yeah, all of those are from Target. So just a couple decorative pillows. And I absolutely hate my renter's blinds, which is why I want to hang up curtains, but I ripped them out of the wall, as you might be able to tell. So I'm not the best at hanging curtains. So I need to figure that out. This is my floor length mirror. I know I look so incredible right now. This is my outfit of the day, a little carrot sweatpant and a shirt. But this is my floor length mirror that I will take occasionally some of my outfit photos on for my Instagram if I want to. I just love the background. I think there's a lot going on. And then the wall, which I get the most questions on ever. I'm going to link the video where I created this. I have an entire video on how I created this collage wall and it's using a Tezza collage kit. So I will link the collage kit that I used in the description box below if you are curious. But I used a collage kit to create this wall and I just think it's so visually appealing and like very, very fun and just vibey and I get a lot of inspiration from it. And then over here, which I'll go into in a second after I finish this area it's kind of like my bathroom closet area and then moving over here this is where I store all my DIY supplies and I actually did a video on this channel of all these DIY supply storage so I will link that video below if you are curious but the coolest new addition is this cloud Nola clock and I am freaking obsessed with with this it actually flips so they flip and it says it's 11:59. i think it's so cool i think it's the funnest clock ever and then up here are just some random little bits and bobs um a helmet and then like this little piece right here and then moving down we have this area which again has random stuff this box crate here is from the labo and it's just full of my fashion week invites and like memorabilia i just went to the lady gaga enigma show so i just have like lots of things i want to keep in here and then a little uh one question a day journal which i need to get back into really badly and then one of my favorite candles here and more filming equipment this is where i keep all the rest of my filming equipment like my main camera my zoom mic my vlogging camera my additional lenses and then down here it's just sort of like a styling space so i have all my sunglasses over in this container here and then all right here I have a, like a lot of stuff on the tray. And then I have this jewelry stand which was DIY'd on my channel a while back. And I'm not gonna go into the drawers because they're just like random clothing bits and like larger DIY supplies. So it's like kind of uninteresting. But moving into this area, this is my bathroom area. So this area is kind of unfinished. Like I did half of the wall with wallpaper and like fit, did it up there as well and then ran out and then it was out of stock. So it's just been up here, but I honestly don't mind it. Like it's not the worst. It kind of reflects a lot more and gives you like that full wallpaper vibe because there's this huge mirror here and just a lot of random, you know, bathroom things here. And then I do have just like the under counter things and I'm changing the knobs, which is why they look like that. Moving into the closet this is my closet space i absolutely love my closet it looks like this i'm not going to go into too much detail because i do have an entire closet tour on my main channel if you're curious but i have a lot of shoes down here and then i have all my clothes up here and then my dirty laundry over here of course and then i do have additional clothing in here which this houses like all of my pants so all my pants are in this upper drawer section here and i just love how this apartment has so much built-in storage i think it's really nice and walking out of the closet, which the uh, little bathroom area is to my right here, is the actual bathroom. And it's super simple. I'm not going to go into much detail in here. It's just like a shower and bathtub. This towel is from Opal House. And then, of course, the toilet area. And I think this is so funny. If you guys remember that DIY I did, the advent calendar DIY, I actually pulled off so much toilet paper. So I've been using my toilet paper like this for the past, like, month. So I have so much toilet paper just wound up because I needed toilet paper rolls for the DIY. And a couple more DIY projects from my channel. I think it's so pretty and very serene in here. I love the way that it looks. And when the light comes through this window and it's like super bright in this area, it looks so pretty. And there's like these little glass here. 
And that guys kind of finishes off my actual bedroom area. So that was my apartment and I hope that you enjoyed. I hope you liked all the rooms I shared with you and I hope you guys liked the styling. Um, there still is little tweaks I do want to make here and there even though I did move in quite a while ago. I do actually want to like change out a couple of furniture pieces and of course my channel is a home decor and DIY channel so I will be doing so over the next couple of years on this channel. So like I said at the beginning, this video is in partnership with Squarespace and I am just so excited because I absolutely love and stand for everything Squarespace does. If you do not know what it is, it is a platform that allows you to create a beautiful and very functional website or blog or online shop or whatever it might be. But the thing that I absolutely love about Squarespace is that it is so easy to use and on top of that, they really keep the design aesthetic in mind, which I think is very important, especially for a lot of creative people like myself and maybe you. If you're a musician, if you're an artist, if you're starting your own business, if you're a photographer, a videographer, you can create your own website using the Squarespace platform and it's so easy, it's so simple. And the last thing I want to mention is that they offer 24-7 customer support, which never leaves you hanging. If you have any questions, they're always going to be there for you, which I think is amazing because I know websites can be tricky every now and then, but Squarespace makes it super, super easy to create your very own website. And if you would like to sign up for Squarespace, you can do so using my code. I'll put it on the screen for you guys and in the description box below so you can take a look and you're going to get 10% off your first purchase on their website website so if you want to create your own website or whatever it is you want to do definitely check out Squarespace for all of those needs and that is all for today's video I hope that you guys really really enjoyed my apartment tour and definitely give it a thumbs up if you did I want to do another room transformation very soon I have not done a room transformation in so long and I've just been urging to like redo a whole room so maybe something will be changed very soon um and I can upgrade you guys but at the moment I'm very pleased with everything so definitely give it a thumbs up leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel for brand new home decor and DIY videos every single week and I will catch you next one. Bye guys. <laughs>